The Report Library in PCC EHR allows you to create and save custom reports. Whenever you have a report you'll want to run more than once, you can set specific criteria to base a report on, set default values for those criteria, and even select what the output will include and save the report to be run at any time. This video will walk you through that process. PCC EHR has a built-in huddle sheet that many offices use in the morning to generate a list of appointments that are scheduled for the day for the staff to review. This is a great tool, but there are some things I'd like to change to make it work better for my practice, and I don't want to have to make those changes every morning every time I run this report. My practice has multiple locations, so I'm going to create a version of this huddle sheet for just one location, Winooski Pediatrics. First, I'll click on Customize Report. Right at the top, I can create a new title and description for this report. Since I'm creating it for Winooski Pediatrics, I'll make that clear in the title and description. I can also choose what categories to file this report under. The default huddle sheet appears under the Appointment and Front Desk categories, but my practice created a custom category for our Winooski location, and I want this report to only appear there. So I select the Categories field, deselect Appointment and Front Desk, and select Winooski Pediatrics. A reminder, even if you deselect all categories, the report will still be discoverable under the All Reports category in the report library. This report, as designed, will output 15 different columns of data. I can see what these will contain by clicking this disclosure triangle. I want to change the report output, so I click Edit. I don't need the appointment date, since I'm always running this report for today, or appointment location, because I'm already going to be filtering this report for our Winooski Pediatrics location, or the patient date of birth. Patient age will do fine for this report. But I'd like to add problemless diagnoses and the home account name. Now I'll adjust some of the default criteria options. The appointment date is set for today, which is great. I'm going to be running this daily, and this Today option will automatically run the report for whatever today's date is. Here's an important tip. If you manually select dates on the right, those dates will remain fixed each time you open this report. If you want a report to dynamically choose dates relative to the day you run the report, choose options from the drop-down on the left. There are all sorts of date ranges here in the past and future that you can use. But again, I want this report to show the day's appointments, so I'll leave this set to today. Similarly, I want to see all patients, regardless of the provider they're scheduled to see, so I'll leave this field alone. But here's something I want to change. I only need to see results for my location, Winooski Pediatrics. So I'll open this Appointment Location criteria and select Winooski Pediatrics. I'll leave this appointment status set to scheduled and arrived, so we'll see all the patients who we're expecting to see today, or maybe who've already arrived before we run this report. But if I was planning on running this report as a retrospective of the day, I might want to add the missed and canceled options. Okay, great, we've got a report that will show us our appointments for the day. But we can configure this even more to make the report more streamlined and efficient. What about this Appointment Provider criteria? For the purposes of this report, we decided we want to see all providers, right? Well, why not remove this criteria from the report altogether? Anytime you're not going to use a criteria to filter your results, you can remove it. Click Select Criteria, and we'll see a long list of criteria that we could use to filter this report. Criteria that are already in use are indicated with a check. I'll deselect Appointment Provider, Click Save, and we can see that Appointment Provider has been removed from the report criteria. Appointment Provider is still on our list of output columns. We'll still see it in the results. We've just chosen not to filter on that data. If we wanted, we could also use these bars to drag and drop and change the order of the criteria. This wouldn't affect the results of the report, but it would let you view the criteria in a sequence that would make the most sense to you. 
Okay, I think we're set. Let's preview this report. Here are my results. But there's more we can do. Remember we added the problem list diagnoses and home account name columns to this report? Now we need to choose to display that information. To adjust what columns are visible by default in your report output, use the Columns dropdown. And I want those columns to appear with the rest of the patient's information instead of at the end of the report, so I'll drag these columns where I want them. I've got my report. Reports sort by the first column by default. In this case, it's the appointment time, which is great. But if I wanted to sort on a different column, say by appointment provider, I'd just click the arrow at the top of the column. But there's another way to sort your report, by grouping results together based on one criteria. For this report, I want to see each provider's appointments together. So I'll open the Group By dropdown and select Appointment Provider. There, now I see each provider's day clearly. Since I'm sorting by appointment provider, I don't need to see the appointment provider column, so I'll go back and remove that. I think we're all set. I'm going to click Save As. If I wanted to make any further changes to the title or description, I could, but this looks good, so I'll click Save. And that's it. Now, back in the report library, I can see my new report in the category I assigned it. And when I open it, all my settings have been saved. And remember, since I chose today for an appointment date, this report will always show me appointments for the day I run the report. I click Generate, Review the results, and Print or Export. This was just one example of a custom report based on our huddle sheet, but remember that you can use any existing report as a starting place for your own custom reports. And if you want to build a report from scratch, start with one of the data source reports. These are comprehensive collections of data and filters that can be used to create exactly the report you need. Creating custom reports is a powerful way to get access to the information you need without having to spend time remembering and recreating long and complicated sets of criteria. For more help with custom reports, visit learn.pcc.com or talk to your client advocate. Thanks for watching.